Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love reading. We're going to go ahead and pull a past, present, future spread for you. The past will show us what part of the past is affecting your present and future love life. So tell us about, I'm going to shuffle. It's going to be a little loud, so turn your headphones down for a second. Give it a good shuffle after we just did Scorpio's reading. Some of you may have Scorpio on your chart, being that you're Sagittarius, so you might want to check that out. But tell us about Sagittarius, past, present, future. Okay, we got the two of pentacles in reverse. So I do see a lack of balance in regards to the past, which could be affecting your stability now. Oops, oh, I thought that one was going to pop out. We got the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck there. Uh, there we go. A couple popped out here. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the lovers and then we have the nine of wands in reverse. So I feel like there was some indecision in the past and you have to make a decision now. And this is going to help because I do feel like you really crave this person physically. Whether you like in a relationship and you just crave them from day to day or you are alone but you, you know, really that's what drives you. You know, wands energy is Sagittarius. So it drives you to them is wanting to be with them but you're, you're making a decision to kind of cave into your desires not to be guarded to sort of brush off old hurts as well i'm getting you're not holding on to like okay they hurt you in the past but you know you're tough so it doesn't matter um the page of swords in reverse in the future i don't feel like you're gonna have to do much spying on this person because i feel like they're going to be present in your life we're gonna pull a few clarifiers and see i'm also getting that you know, yeah, I just feel like you won't have to be looking from afar. It's kind of the Page of Swords is kind of our spying card. In this deck, it's the princess. And see, she's got the binocular. But I feel like you won't have to do that because this person's going to be up close and personal with you. And it's going to be based on a decision that you recently made or will be making in the near future. Because this is present time. But let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers here with the traditional deck. So we can see a little bit more about this person. Tell us more about Sagittarius, love interest, past, present, future. We've got the nine of pentacles. So I do feel like so at some point, you know, you've decided to go your own way or you've been very independent. And this may be why it's hard to balance something with a partner. You know, the two is a much, much sooner in the journey than the nine. So it's like you've accomplished all this in the nine and you almost have this fear I'm getting for some of you that if you start a relationship or try to balance something, that's going to put you back to the two and you're going to have to start all over. And I do feel like you have a bit of an, an internal battle with this. Yeah. And you overthink it a bit. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and pull a clarifier for the lovers here. Tell us more about the lovers in regards, that was too many, in regards to present time, for Sagittarius. I did just see the Six of Wands, so that's Leo energy. So I'm going to be doing with Leo. Okay, the Two of Cups came out here. Um, the Two of Cups is a partnership. It's reiterating this. I feel like you guys are making a decision that's leading to a partnership. For some of you, this could be a bit uncomfortable because you might have been solo for quite some time. Ooh, let's see here, Sagittarius. Now, I think it was Libra's reading that Sagittarius was popping up very prominently. So I do feel like Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra here. Yeah, here's the King of Swords popping up right as I say that. So, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's clarifying the Page of Swords in reverse. Swords is air energy. So, you know, I do feel like for you, those of you, and this can be male or female, getting into a connection in the near future. And I do feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be that Aquarius season at the latest. So that would be, you know, through February. It is going to be a connection where you... This person has integrity and they're very clear, but they're also very stern and they also think that they know everything. So that's something to be aware of. It could be somebody who's in the military I'm getting for some of you because they, they travel, you know, um, and they wear a uniform most likely. Or it could be also like a, like a police officer, but not really a regional one per se, but we did get Gemini, so they could be um, more local to you. Let's see. So, and then if you're like a male, you're like, okay, King of Swords. I feel like this is you possibly meeting someone while you're traveling. Yeah, you'll be away from your stability in your home. You may feel a little under the radar, but I see you finding, you know, something that makes you very happy here. You just may have a hard time um, establishing it into, like, if you meet this person at a distance. And this could be male or female as well, but I'm feeling this more for the masculine. It could be hard to actually 
okay, now how are we going to, in a practical way, make a plan and, and actually live in the same place or something like that? But I do feel like they'll make you very happy and you'll be great partners. Um, or if you're a male, I, f I feel like you want to be careful if you get into a connection that, you know, you're that you are warm in your communication, not too curt, abrasive, or bossy, I'm also getting, because that could lead to you kind of going your own way as well. So that's another energy that I'm getting. It reminds me, I have a friend who's a Pisces with a Sagittarius moon who loves to travel, and I feel like that's part of what keeps him single, you know? So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go into the extended and look in more into this King of Swords, this Two of Cups, and this Lover's card to see more about who your partner could be, get a little more clarity on it. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can go to rotation411.com. The link to the extended to join us will be in the bio and pinned in the comments. And for the rest of you, do be sure to check out moonmatch.love. You can use my coupon code ROTATION411 to get 10% off at sign up. It's amazing for meeting someone you're astrologically compatible with. Who knows, for some of you, that may be who you're traveling to in the near future because it's divine timing, right? All right, for the rest of you, take care, love and light, and I'll see you all in the extended.